What's up guys, Shane Starnes with Droid Modder X. Today I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to install Android 5.0 Lollipop on the Verizon LG G3. Uh, we're going to do this by installing CyanogenMod 12. That'll bring us Android 5.0 to this phone. Even though Verizon and LG have not officially released Android 5.0 and they may not release it for weeks to come, you can run it now thanks to the development community and CyanogenMod 12. A uh, big shout out to Invisiblack and Kel... Melzer for providing it for the Verizon variant. There are also versions of Signage Mod 12 for other variants like AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and I'll try to make sure to include links to those in the description. Specifically for the Verizon version, you're going to need Phil's Touch Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, you could use TeamWin Recovery 2.8.1.0, uh, but make sure that you are running that version, 2.8.1.0 or better, because those versions of TeamWin Recovery Project do support Lollipop. So basically what we want to do here, uh, real quick I'll just show you that we are running 5.0, we're going to settings, about phone, and you see build number is, or Android version number is 5.0, signage mod. This is the November 27th build, and this is probably the most stable build. There's a newer build by Invisiblack on, that came out on 1130, but it has some issues, so it kind of regressed in that build. So for the Verizon variant, we're going to stick with 1127. I'll be sure to include a link in the description to that. We're going to use a gapps file, not the one that is in the thread. So if we go to XDA, okay, so you won't want to use this gapps because if you use this gapps, the camera's not going to work. There's going to be some other things that do not work. So I'll be sure to include a link in the description that's on uh, page number 64 in this particular thread, and you can get the specific gapps that you need to run. Okay, so to install this, we're going to need to go ahead and boot into recovery. So the way that you'll do that is go ahead and power off the device. Okay, once we power off the device, we're going to press and hold the volume down and power until the LG screen appears. We're going to let go and then press volume down and power until the factory reset screen appears. So I'll go ahead and show you how that's done. We'll press and hold both until the LG screen appears. We'll release and press them down again. Okay, just keep holding it until the reset menu appears. Okay, now we're going to scroll down using volume down and power to select. We're going to scroll down to factory data reset. This is not going to wipe your data, uh, although we will need to wipe data in order to install uh, signage of my 12. This is going to boot you into recovery. So we'll press power to select, and then we'll scroll down to yes and power to select. Now that'll go ahead and boot us into Phil's touch recovery. Okay, so it's easiest for me to use these buttons to navigate. So arrow down, arrow up and uh, you would hit the circle to select and the back button to go back. Uh, so I'm going to actually zoom in here on the text so you can see what we're doing, but just know that I'm navigating using these buttons down here. So the first thing that I would suggest doing is making a backup of your system as it is. So if you're currently just stock rooted, you want to go ahead and make a backup. That way if CyanogenMod 12 or Android Lollipop is not for you, you can always return back to stock rooted. It takes you know just a few minutes and fills Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, which is one thing that I like better than Team Wind Recover Project because Team Wind Recover Project seems to take forever. Fills is actually a whole lot faster. So uh, what you would do is just scroll down, go to Backup and Restore, select that, and then just uh, Backup to SD Card. So once you do that, uh, you'll have a backup. You can scroll down to where it says Restore from SD Card, and you'll see your backup there. Okay, so the next thing you want to do here is scroll down to where it says Install Zip. Just verify that you have the correct files. Choose it from SD card. So I always like to verify that I even have the files before I wipe data. So go to your download folder. And we're looking for CM12, 11.27 is the build that we want to run. And then the G apps that we want to run are the B pair G apps LP. And uh, we'll, it says face lock at the end, so that's a good way to tell if you have the right one. So we'll go back to the main screen here. We'll go down to Wipe and Format Options, select that, Factory Reset, you'll choose that first. Go ahead and scroll down to where it says Yes, Wipe All User Data, and just go ahead and let it wipe data. Okay, it says Data Wipe is complete, so we'll go back. Next thing we'll do is scroll down and wipe cache. Scroll down to Yes, select Yes. Okay, we'll go back, select Wipe Dalvik Art Cache. Yes. Okay, when all that's finished, we'll go back, install zip. 
choose it from SD card, scroll down to your download folder. If you downloaded it directly to your phone, that's where it will be. First thing we want to flash is the CyanogenMod 12. Now, it should be noted that these are beta builds. They're not completely stable. There are official builds of CyanogenMod 11 by Invisiblick that should be a little more stable. So if you can wait on Lollipop for a more stable build, you may want to go with the Invisiblick CyanogenMod 11 builds. So we'll go ahead and select this. Scroll down to Yes Install. And give that just a few minutes to flash. Okay, when it's finished, it will say at the bottom of the screen, uh, install from SD card is complete. Press any key to continue. We'll go back. Okay, so the next thing we want to install is the G apps. We'll go down to the B pair G apps. Yes to flash. And that'll just take a few seconds. Okay, we'll go ahead and go back. And then there's one more thing that you may want to install. Uh, CyanogenMod does not come rooted, so if you want to be rooted, you'll want to go to Choose It from SD Card, scroll to Download, and grab the Update Super SU, and I'll be sure to include a link to that in the description as well. But we'll go ahead and flash that. Okay, so when everything is finished flashing, we'll go to Reboot System Now, and we should be greeted with the CyanogenMod 12 boot logo. Alright guys, there you have it, CyanogenMod 12, Android 5.0 Lollipop on the Verizon LG G3 and other variants of the LG G3. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Thanks guys for watching, be blessed, I'll see you in the next one.